Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Um, so a couple weeks ago, well, as of when you guys see this upload, so actually technically speaking it was like overnight last night and the night before as of when this is being recorded, but as I said for you guys it was a couple weeks ago. We, we had like this random, it wasn't really a blizzard, but it was a long snowstorm. And, which was kind of weird because it was like a, spa a long space of time with nothing. Absolutely nothing. To the degree where you would think that'd be out of the way and then suddenly it happened. Now, bear in mind, I'm not venting. That's not why I'm making this video. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've already done a video where I vented about, about how bad the like the weather shifting is in this in, in in the area that I live in that we live in um this video I wanted to discuss something a bit different so one thing I've come to notice is that so there are a lot in the US there are a lot of people who are just stupid when it comes to driving like they won't you know, heed certain uh, laws. They'll just completely bypass them and think it's okay to just go for it, just to gun it. Now, the reason I bring this up, actually, is because it made me think... There was a point during the past eh, 24 hours-ish where my brain developed like this idea that, hey, it, it made me think of like that stereotype scenario that you see in movies a lot where like you'll have two individuals like driving and both like one starts revving its engine and the second person just falls along and goes yeah sure we'll do it the first person guns it and goes for it and the other guy just kind of goes normal speed you know just how they were the, th the, the reason this came to my mind is because I always laugh at these kind of scenarios. It, it makes me think of the individuals who are, like, you know, not exactly abiding by the rules of the road. Um, same concept as this. They, it, It's like those who've gun it. You'll get caught way easier, and it's just kind of a dumb move. Especially on ice, which... I don't know if you guys heard Pink Fox or not, but she said here's accident problem. That's actually exactly what I was going to say. I've what a good example of this is there's a city here called Pleasant Grove um, that there have been so many accidents within the past two months of this recording that it, they might as well just change the name from Pleasant Grove to Deadly Grove. <laughs> that's how bad it is um it's i don't know it's kind of, and the reason this happens is just because people act stupid when it comes to driving now bear in mind if you're a viewer of this channel and you live there i'm not hating on anybody specific it's just there are so many people who are dumb enough to cause these kind of incidents that i mean that's where I've, like, found most of the ones I personally have come across. Some people would say a different city, which, to each their own. Everybody has a different experience on this front. But regardless, it doesn't change the one fact that there are so many idiotic drivers out there. I'm almost going to repeat what Pink Fox says but not down to the key. Basically, I guess the reason that I kind of wanted to go up along this video specifically is just be careful. I mean, there are a lot of people who, who are in a rush to get to places like, say, a hospital. If you're in a rush to get somewhere like that, it's a bit more understandable, but still, even so, if you're not careful you could potentially still cause more harm than what is already done. Just, I guess, from all the experiences and statements that I've said in this video, just be careful. 
uh, pay heed to like the rules of the road. A lot of them are quite obvious too. It's just people are in such a mindset to get somewhere quickly or are so stressed that they don't pay attention to what's going on. And even like in, I'm not even going to lie. A lot of people stereotype that the U S has a lot of drunk drivers. It does. That's, that's, that's a stereotype. Sure. But that is true. I've seen so many of them. It's retarded. Pardon the word. I don't like using that word because it's, you know, it can be medically, it can be, it can be medically offensive, but when it comes to extreme extents, it gets stupidly ridiculous to how they uh, just act. That's like the only time where I'm willing to use something like that. But anyway, it's understandable they wouldn't consider under stressful circumstances, but it's still a good idea to at least try to take into consideration that kind of stuff because a lot more harm can come to that kind of thing if people aren't careful. Like, A lot of people have been lucky enough to get into accidents and then realize, yeah, I need to learn from that. Like Pink Fox, for example. I, I've i seen her get into a specific accident. She didn't cause it or anything. In fact, she was driving like she should have. I'm not going to go too much into detail about this. It's her story to tell if she wants to do a future reference. But another individual rammed the side of her car and... Well, it caused so many problems that were just not necessary that could have been prevented, you know, if the driver was actually, A, paying attention, and B, you know, driving by the laws of the road. It, I just, like, I didn't do the research on this. I was tempted to beforehand, but there are so many deaths that are caused by something as simple as this that it's kind of sad when you see people like just not abide by it after so many like outward problems because of it but you know what most of the time as i said as i said earlier this is kind of a benefit of the doubt thing maybe people are just stressed or they're in a rush then fine but still regardless i guess pinpointing this message i've been going about it for about seven and a half minutes i guess the point of this video is just please be careful um as someone who's experienced a lot of stress and stuff like that i don't like seeing others in that kind of predicament so for those of you who see this video who drive a lot out of worry please be careful uh this comes from both me and pink foxes that's in it the one phrase, be careful, is kind of in a nutshell of what she was saying earlier. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, thanks to all those of you who stuck around for the eight minutes in this video. Thank you for uh, tuning in. If you agreed with anything that was said here, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. Um, most of the time, we do a lot of discussion and rants on this um, channel as the first for the live video of the day. Uh, it's kind of scattered what we actually do but if you are interested in like vlogs or things like this why not check out the channel's playlist on discussion and rants itself which will be on the side of my head the other side will give you an idea of something you may enjoy a bit more if that is not the case uh if neither are quite floating your boat why not check the channel out for yourself if you have not yet anyway gonna head off thanks again for tuning into this video everyone and we hope to see you guys in another bye for now